Hey Scorpio, and welcome to your general love reading for the first half of May 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and it is a general reading, so of course it cannot resonate for all of you. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. And do keep in mind that the roles in this reading can be reversed because it is general, okay? So yeah, that's it. Let's see, Scorpio, what is going on with you? First half of May, 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. For the situation, we have the star crossed by the Five of Swords. Mm. Feels like somebody's going against their own wishes here. Um, somebody is really, really wanting this connection. Um, but yeah, pretty much deceiving their own wish to some extent. Let's see, for you we have ooh, the devil. Okay, so that's Capricorn energy. We also have Aquarius. So some of you might be dealing with one of those signs. Definitely does not have to be. The Seven of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, Scorpio. Um, I feel like we've gotten something similar for you before, um, where it feels like you might be having some insecurities. That's that's how this is coming in. Um, a little bit of insecurities concerning a particular connection here, and so I feel like you know you're just kind of having your guard up, either to the other person or to your to your own self, possibly. I do see you moving more and more towards feeling that sense of security within yourself, so I feel like you are moving away from that devil's energy progressively, okay? Um, and just, you know, being more nurturing for yourself, finding more, just a higher sense of self-worth. And that is actually going to help you a lot here. Uh, let's see for them. We have the King of Pentacles, the Empress, and Temperance. Okay, so Sagittarius also in the picture here. Um, interesting. This is somebody who really wants you. <laughs> like, a lot. Um... I don't know if they're just taking their time or trying to find their balance or if they're healing from something. But yeah, something along those lines. However, this is somebody who wants commitment with you and sees you as their person. So I do kind of get that they might be the ones who are um, going against their wishes. Or it might just appear that way because, see, you're in this devil's energy. So it could be that, you know, what you really want, you're also just not seeing it clearly and possibly feeling more betrayed than what you actually are. Um, this, who, someone else had something really similar to this. I think it was one of the air signs. Can't remember which one though. Um, I think it was Libra, actually. Um, so yeah, let's see. Potential outcome, we have judgment. Okay. So a major revelation, decision, possibly even a discernment, wake up call. Something is happening here big time um, in the potential outcome, which is very, very positive actually. So let's clarify and see what is up here, Scorpio. Let's see that star with the Five of Swords. The Knight of Swords, the Chariot, and the King of Swords. Okay, so Cancer energy also showing up here. Um, I feel like, you know, the, it's like there's a lot of chaotic movement here that's going on. Um, it's like whoever it is that is wishing for this, but it's like, I, I do feel like there's some kind of a deceiving their own wish. It's like there's a lot of restless energy, maybe even a little bit immature. But see, we're finishing this off with the king of 
sword. So I feel like, number one, there is a lot of um, possibly overthinking and then just acting really impulsively, um, which is not helping to move this person, whoever it is, whether it's you or them, towards what it is that they're wanting. Okay, that's number one. But number two, I do see a progression towards um, being a little bit more rational, being a little bit more logical, more thoughtful, more wise. So let's see. It could even be that um, one of you is also feeling pretty impatient here. about this connection and it just feels like it's just um, not happening. Let's see the devil for your energy. The eight of wands and the two of pentacles. Okay, so it could be that you're also um, maybe like over analyzing some communication, not being really sure, you know, or not being able to cope with certain words that were exchanged and if this is the case you know it could be that you're viewing them in a different way than how they were intended and that doesn't mean that you're in the wrong maybe the other person you know has a hard time really expressing themselves for example or maybe this is something that you said and then you're just kind of like you know um fretting over things that you said, some kind of an exchange here. I'm also getting here that it might be a little bit difficult for you to cope with the pace that things are moving. Um, so maybe this could be you that maybe felt a little bit of impatience, at least at some point. I do see you coming out of that. It, and maybe, you know, it, it's, I'm not saying this in a bad way. I mean, it could just be that, you know, you thought things were moving at a certain pace and then maybe, you know, it turned out they did, they weren't. And so, yeah, that can definitely be disappointing and that can definitely throw us in this loop of, you know, just thinking in a toxic way to our own selves. It's like having a really hard time coping with it. And <laughs> I just had the five of swords. Here it is. Flip over again. So it almost feels like, you know, you're, it's like, I feel like your mind is playing tricks on you. Like you're deceiving your own self in the way that you are thinking about what it is that you want here, or when it comes to how you're thinking about what the other person wants and something to do with the pace at which this is moving. Let's see that seven of wands. We have the star showing up again and the, the Knight of Wands. Hmm. It, it almost feels like you're kind of like, because this isn't like working out in the way that you thought exactly that it would, um, I feel like you're kind of blocking out what you want. Um, almost like you're like convincing yourself that okay not convincing yourself but just maybe trying to persuade yourself that you don't want this as much as you did or as as you do um, yeah but then it's like you kind of go back and forth it's like, yeah, I do really want this. And then it's like, no, 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 I don't. <laughs> but it feels kind of like it's a way of like protecting yourself because it's something that hasn't like fully taken form just yet. And that's okay, that's natural. I feel like, you know, you're going, you have a little bit of back and forth here and it's just, you know, a matter of time before you actually level out and that's why we then have that Queen of Pentacles there because it's like then you're, you know, you're grounding yourself. You're finding your own sense of security from within your own self and not from this connection. It's like you don't need to be validated by how much this person wants you. 
You don't need to be validated by feeling like they want you just as much as you want them. Like your self-worth doesn't depend on how much this person wants you. So I feel like that's what you are learning here and that's the space that you are stepping into. So clarifying that Queen of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Swords and the Page of Cups. Yeah, it's like you're finding that perfect balance between what it is that your heart wants, your feelings, but also knowing your own, your own worth independently of this connection. So that's actually really, really good. All right, let's see what's going on with the other person here. So clarifying the King of Pentacles, <laughs> we got the devil for them as well, and it's in the same um, position just as a clarifier as your devil was. Um, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so I do feel like it's them who is going against their own wishes here because they want this commitment. That's the thing. They feel like they want to be this King of Pentacles for you, be, be there, you know, be able to provide 100%, um, be able to give to you time, energy, everything. But there's some kind of a fear here that they are attached to. It, and it could even be an attachment to something. Maybe maybe something in their material world is what it's coming in as. Maybe even just finances, work, something. And it, it could be that they're feeling some insecurity in regards to that. And because of that, it's like they're just kind of sneaking away from embracing this King of Pentacles role that they want. Let's see the Empress because that is you showing up in their energy. We have Strength, okay, so Leo and the Three of Wands. Okay, so They want you. They're building up that courage. Um, I feel like, yeah, there's definitely something here that they need to find the strength for, um, especially in terms of whatever that devil's energy is. They are doing that because they really want this connection with you. They want the commitment with you. And I feel like, you know, it's like they're planning it, like they have this plan set into motion, but it's taking a little bit of time, um, probably because they're still dealing with this energy over here, that devil energy, which by the way, that's uh, also Capricorn, I forgot to mention that, and Capricorn did show up twice, as well as Aquarius, Aquarius showed up twice. And we do have both the King of Swords as well as the Queen of Swords, okay, so air signs. All right, let's see Temperance. And we have Death, okay, there's your energy showing up. Okay, so Scorpio, or maybe you're dealing with another Scorpio, and the Knight of Pentacles. This person is processing some kind of a transition. I'm not sure if it's an ending. It could be some kind of an ending um, for some of you, but I'm getting more so that it's some kind of a transition here that they're needing to make, even if it's regarding an ending. There's a transition here, and they're in the process of really healing that and finding their balance in terms of making that transition and adjusting. And it is taking a little bit of time. Both Temperance and the Knight of Pentacles, they tend to be, you know, slow time um, energies, whereas it's interesting how the reading started off with very fast energies. So that's why I'm saying I feel like there was either some impatience or maybe things were moving quickly. And then it feels like things may have slowed down um, or that was just the energy, like there was this impatience, but then actually things were moving a lot slower than what was expected. So yeah, that can create some insecurities obviously in you. But as I said, it's like you're, you're, you're dealing with that. You're coping with that very, very um, efficiently. All right, so let's see judgment as the potential outcome. All right, and we have, ooh, the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the King of Cups. Okay, wow. So it does look like this is coming back, all right, with the judgment being here. Yes, this could be like a major um, revelation here, a decision, and it's, but it's also like a resurrection, okay? So 
And especially with the Ace of Wands, I'm seeing this as something being reignited, something coming back. I feel like it's, you know, coming back to pick up the pace again. It is, there are some challenges though, okay, not going to lie. There are still a little bit of challenges here with the Nine of Wands. Um, maybe just a little bit of resistance. But then we have this King of Cups. I mean, there's love here. And when there's love and there's the will, you know... <laughs> things work out. So I do see this as something that is coming back and things kind of like getting back on course, not giving up basically. So yeah, Scorpio, let's see if this resonated. Let's get the final message for you. And we have the new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. So yeah, this is a situation where a little bit of time is needed, okay? So I feel like it's not the time to receive this just yet. And when we talk about giving, this could be even about giving to your own self or just take it as it resonates. All right, Scorpio, those are your messages. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.